मंचकलभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम अनंतकोटि वैष्णवृंद की जय नामाचार्य शिल हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय शिल प्रभुपाद की जय श्री गुरु महाराज की जय और ग्लोरिस्ट टू दल डिवोटिस प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई हम्बल यशोमती फ्रॉम शिकागो वंस अगेन वेलकमिंग ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द मिड मॉर्निंग जपशीशन I thank all of you for attending this session. Please forgive me for interrupting your ecstatic chanting. Let us move to our next part of the session, which is Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat. Uh, before we start the session, may I know who all have joined today this morning? Hare Krishna, Shrimati Mataji. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Sri Lopra Upad and all the devotees on the call. This is Harita from Missouri City, Texas. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Harita Mataji. Dhanvat Pranam. All glories to Sri Lopra Upad. All glories to Sri Guru and Gauranga. Thank you very much, Mataji, for joining and your services. Hare Krishna. हरे कृष्णा यशमती माता जी धनवत प्रणाम ऑल ग्लोरी स्टूशियल प्रभुपाद दिस इज विनीता गंधर्विका देवीदासी फ्रॉम कॉलेज स्टेशन टेक्सस हरे कृष्णा विनीता गंधर्विका देवीदासी माता जी धनवत प्रणाम ऑल ग्लोरी स्टूशियल प्रभुपाद ऑल ग्लोरी स्टूशियल गुरु एंड गौरांगा थैंक यू वेरी मच माता जी फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड योर ब्यूटीफुल सर्विस इज ऑल द टाइम विदाउट एनी इंटरप्टेड नथिंग हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा यशोमती माता जी प्लीज एक्सेप्ट मैं हमको लगे सेंसेस और ग्लोरियस शोशिल प्रोपर आ दिस इज अनिता रामिया फ्रॉम शारजा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा अनिता माता जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम और ग्लोरियस शोशिल प्रोपर और ग्लोरियस शोशिल गुरु एंड गौरांगा थैंक यू वेरी मच माता जी फॉर जॉइनिंग एवरी सिंगल डे एंड गिविंग योर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो नाइसली हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा माता जी दिस इज किरण गोयल फ्रॉम बाल्टीमोर All glories to Sri Lakshmi. All glories to Guru Mahadev, and all glories to assembled devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Kira Mata Ji, Dhanvat Pranam. All glories to Sri Lakshmi. All glories to Sri Guru and Gauranga. Thank you very much, Mata Ji, for joining every single day. Hare Krishna. हरे कृष्णा दंडावत प्रणाम माता जी विश्वमत माता जी दिस इज मोहन रेड्डी फ्रॉम इंडिया हरे कृष्णा मोहन प्रभु गो हेड प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा मोहन प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम ऑल गुरु रिष्ट श्री प्रभु पाद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा मोहन प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम ऑल गुरु रिष्ट श्री प्रभु पाद ऑल गुरु रिष्ट श्री गुरु एंड गौरांगा Thank you very much, Prabhu Ji, for joining from India. Hare Krishna. Is there anybody else? Hare Krishna, Shrimati Mata Ji. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Lakshmi. All glories to Shri Guru Dev. This is Chinmay Vraj Priya Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna, Chinmay Vraj Priya Devi Dasi Mata Ji. Dhanvat Pranam. All glories to Shri Lakshmi. All glories to Shri Guru and Gauranga. Thank you very much, Mata Ji, for joining every day and giving your beautiful services. Hare Krishna. हरे कृष्णा यशोमती माता जी मैं हम लोग 
हरे कृष्ण पृथ्वी विलासनी देवी दासी माता जी धनवत प्रणाम ऑल गोरिष्ठ शील प्रभुपाद ऑल गोरिष्ठ शील गुरु एंड गौरंगा थैंक यू वेरी मच माता जी फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड योर ब्यूटीफुल सर्विसेज एवरी टाइम हरे कृष्ण एंड इंस्पायरिंग मी हरे कृष्ण जस्ट अ फ्यू मोर डेज माता जी फॉर योर स्पेशल डे वी आर ऑल थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण we will read the quote and wait for prabhu ji mata ji yes mata ji he is just logging out from the other call and he'll come in like a maybe a minute so i'll start the recording okay okay sir mata ji so welcome to bhakti sangha japa group to all the dear devotees today before we start the sh- our session i would like to read shila prabhu pad quote for today september 14 we have to work sincerely and because krishna is in everyone's heart there will be no difficulty to have the necessary necessary facilities later to satswarupa september 14 1969 so welcome again all the dear devotees to bhakti sangha today we are so fortunate to have his grace adi gadadhar prabhu on the <coughs> topic of shri chaitanya bhagavat madhya khand chapter 3 verse number 35 and 36 so thank you very much prabhu ji dandavat pranam all glories to shri prabhupad all glories to shri guru maharaj thank you very much prabhu ji for giving your very very valuable time and association to us this morning and enlightening us on this topic of our lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu i now hand over call to you hare krishna Yeah, Prabhu is joining in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll restart once he comes. Hare Krishna, Kethi Das, Andre Devi Dasi Mata Ji, Danvat Prana. Danvat Prana, Swami Ji. Thank you, Mr. Prabhupada. All good, Mr. Shri Guru and Karanya. Thank you very much, Mata Ji. Very, very beautiful service, Mata Ji. You all are inspiration, my inspiration. please pray for me hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare yeah. thank you very much dear devotees for your kind association very grateful to bhakti sangha japa group especially हर ग्रेस प्रीतिविलासिनी माता जी फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्च्युनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन श्री चैतन्य भागवत बाय श्रील वृंदावन दास ठाकुर महाशय लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ मंगलाचल ओम अज्ञान ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वदाक वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्रीयुता पद कमल श्री गुरुन् वैष्णव श्री रूपम साग्र जात सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे वाछाकलतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सो डियर डिवोटिस वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य भागवत मध्य खंड चैप्टर थ्री टेक्स्ट थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी सिक्स लेट मी जस्ट मेक श्योर वेरी क्विकली हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हर थर्टी थर्टी सिक्स हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे टेक्स्ट थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी सिक्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इंटरक्शन इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन श्री मुरारी गुप्त हु इज एन इनकार्नेशन ऑफ हनुमान जी एंड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम लॉर्ड रामचंद्र टेक्स्ट थर्टी फाइव गुप्त वाक्य तुष्ट हईला वराह ईश्वर वेद प्रति क्रोध करी बल ये उत्तर translation and purports by his divine grace shri shri mad bhakti siddhanta saraswati goswami maharaj shila prabhupad the revered spiritual master of our beloved founder acharya his divine grace shri shri mad abhay charana arvind bhakti vedanta swami maharaj shila prabhupad translation of this beautiful verse Shri Lavrindavan Das Thakur Mahashay is narrating. Lord Varaha was pleased with the statements of Shri Murari Gupta. Who is Lord Varaha? Raise your hand. Who is this Lord Varaha in this verse? That one Mahaprabhu. Yes, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaur Varaha. Once I asked my Shiksha Guru Dev, Shri Pad Mukundatta Prabhu, Head Pujari of His Con Vrindavan, Shri Shri Krishna Balram Mandir, that Guru Dev, I have got so many Shaligram Shilas, and there are different, different. Some is Vaman Shaligram, Varaha Shaligram, Narsimha Shaligram Shila, but Radha Krishna Seva Pao Ei Abhilashi. we are aspiring for radha krishna bhakti in the nikunjas of vrindavan so worshiping uh, shankarshan shaligram shila worshiping uh, narayan shaligram shila worshiping ananta shesh shaligram shila varaha dev shaligram shila vaman shaligram shila uh, varaha dev shaligram shila narsimha shaligram shila so then this is all vaikuntha bhav so uh, should i give the shaligram shila to some other devotee who has that bhav and let them worship and i should only worship radha sham sundar what should i do shri padma kunda to prabhu told me that actually if you have the proper bhav there is no um ananata bhang nahi hoti hai there is no breach of one pointedness if you have the proper bhav i said how is that so he said parama karuna prabhu dui jana nitai gaura chandra sab avatar sar shiromani kevala ananda kanda he said you are in the gaudiya parampara your ishta devi shri chaitanya mahaprabhu If you read Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagwat, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has manifested the form of Lord Ramachandra to Murari Gupta. He manifested the form of Varaha Dev to Murari Gupta. He manifested his Chaturbhuj Murti to Maharaj Pratap Rudra. He manifested himself as Narsimha Dev to Chand Kazi. So, <clears throat> in the Antelila to Sorup Damodar Goswami and Ramananda Rai and all the associates in Jagannath Puri. who pulled him out of the river 
when he in the from the ocean in jagannath put the fisherman caught mahaprabhu in the ocean he manifested his form as matsya avatar he became elongated like a fish and many times it is described in anteli love chaitanya charitamrita in his ecstasy the limbs of in mahabhav just like jagannath's limbs have entered into his body the limbs of gauranga mahaprabhu also would enter into his body and he would appear like kurma so shiva mukotabhu told me when you look at your kurma dev shaligram shila you see him as gaur kurma when you look at vaman dev gaur vaman when you look at your narsimha shaligram shila gaur narsimha अपराध नाही माने तारिते निपुण गौर नाम गौर धाम गौर रूप गुण अपराध नाही माने तारिते निपुण चैतन्य भागवत श्री वृंदा ठाकुर से गौर नाम गौर धाम एंड गौर रूप एंड गौर गुण चैतन्य महाप्रभु नेम चैतन्य महाप्रभु धाम श्री नवद्वीप धाम चैतन्य महाप्रभु फॉर्म रूप एंड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रुष क्वालिटीज डिस्क्राइब इन चैतन्य भागवत चैतन्य चरितामृत अपराध नाही माने दे डोंट कन्सिडर एनी अपराध एन तारीते निपुण एन व्हेरी एक्सपर्ट इन टेकिंग यू बॅक होम बॅक टू गॉड हेड सुशिबाद मुकुंद प्रभु सेड डू यू हॅव द क्वालिफिकेशन टू वर्शिप अ नरसिंह शालिग्राम शिला सच प्युरिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड प्रॉपर विधी प्रॉपर शोड अशा उपचार डिफरंट मंत्र डिफरंट मुद्राज आर रिक्वायर्ड पर्सनल प्युरिटी यू इफ यू वेअर अ कुर्ता वाईल वर्शिपिंग ऑल दिस स्टिच्ड कुर्ता it is like putting needle through the body of lord narsimha dev shastra says to wear a stitch cloth while worshiping the deity of krishna it is like putting needle through the body of krishna therefore the pujaris they wear chadar and dhoti and kopin they don't wear stitch clothes if by mistake you have put some oil in your hair and you go to worship the deity it's like pouring alcohol madira on the body of krishna yes these are the seva aparads you have to be very are you qualified no so don't worship narsimha dev worship gaur narsimha don't worship vamana dev worship gaur vamana don't worship varaha dev worship this gaur varaha who we are reading about in this verse gupta vakya tushta haila varaha ishwar gaur varaha ishwar veda prati krodh kari balaye uttar hari bol so we should always see our gauranga mahaprabhu everywhere स्थावर जंगम देखे ना देखे तार मूर्ति सर्वत्र है निज इष्ट देव स्फूर्ति एवरी वेर टू सी आवर गौरांग महाप्रभु राधा कृष्ण प्रणय विकृति लाधिन शक्ति रस्मा एकात्मा अभिभूत पुरा देह भेदम गत उत चैतन्याख्यम प्रकट मधुना तद्वय चैक्यम आत्तम राधा भाव दुति सुबलित नवमी कृष्ण स्वरूप सुहियर Lord Varadev was pleased with the prayers of Murari Gupta. Murari Gupta offered prayers, and what is the prayer? How can I offer you prayer? <laughs> this is the humility of a devotee. Devotee prayer is like this. Devotee, come on, offer me prayers. Krishna says. The devotee says, "Oh Lord, out of humility and love, who am I? How can I offer you prayers? Brahma ji offers you prayers. Shankar Bhagwan offers you prayers. Oh, who am I?" So, and Krishna is very happy hearing these prayers <laughs> that we cannot offer prayer. So he says, "I am very happy with you, Murari Gupta." Displaying anger towards the Vedas, Sri Gaura Varaha spoke as follows: "Veda prati ko krodh kari." Become becoming angry at the Vedas, Balaya Uttar, Sri Gaura Varaha is going to speak. Purport: In order to deceive persons endowed with material knowledge and desires of liberation, the Vedas manifest for them the Adnya Rudhi. of words or the conventional meaning of words according to adnya adnya means those who don't have knowledge unenlightened since the materialistic mayavadi study the vedas through the ascending process not this not this not this i'm going to find you i'm going to find you ascending process what is the descending process tad vidhi pranipate na pari prashne na sevaya krishna you reveal yourself gurudev you गुरुदेव कृपा बिंदु दिया दिया इट इज डिसेंडिंग इधर कृपा बिंदु लिया दे वांट टू क्लाइंब अप एंड ग्रैब इट दैट इज नॉट आवर प्रोसेस आवर प्रोसेस इज ए बारो करुणा करो वैष्णव गोसाय पतित पावन तुमा 
What is that? Ebaro karuna karo Vaishnava gosai patit patita pavan toma bine ke hanai. Nobody is there, patita pavan, other than you, O Vaishnava gosai. Ebaro karuna karo Vaishnava gosai patita pavan toma bine ke hanai. Nobody else can have mercy on me other than you, O merciful Vaishnava. See, all of us have become devotees. All of us have come to the path of Krishna consciousness because of association of other devotees. Sri Chaitanya Guru did not come personally and tell us, Mridula Mataji, from today, chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. No. But another Gaur Premijan, a devotee of the devotee of the devotee of the devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come in our lives. Therefore, e bara karuna karo, Vaishnava Gosai, O Vaishnava Gosai, O Prabhupada, this is your karuna. Hmm. But the Mayavadis are ascending process. Therefore, the Lord's anger towards the bewildering potency of the Vedas is a prime example of Jive Doya or compassion on the living entities. Because they are ascending process and the Vedic literatures encourage them in that way. Neti Neti, this is Vedvakya. In Vedas, it is mentioned that you can do Neti Neti also. You can analytically through Jnan Yoga try to find Krishna. So because it is there, this facility is there for the atheists, for the Mayavadis. This is the bewildering potency of the Vedas. So why this is so? One may question, why in the Vedas these um, uh, verses are there where ascending process also is mentioned or it is offered as an option? Imagine if all the verses of Bhagavad Gita, all the verses of Srimad Bhagavatam, all the verses of Ramayana, Mahabharat, uh, Rigved, Yajurved, Samved, uh, Atharvaved, all the 108 Upanishads very clearly told. Mother Chelsea, just chant Hare Krishna. Krishna is your master. You are Krishna's eternal devotee. Wouldn't it have been simple? But there's so much, so many different, different Tarko, Pratishta, Shrutayo, Vibhinna. This scripture are of various types, so confusing. Why not just give directly, just one instruction? Don't confuse us. It would have been so much easier, right? <laughs> it's not so. Because then we would have thought, this is too simple. There must be something else. Let me write our scripture of mine. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> no. Actually, it is not like that. So many different options are given in the scriptures because different people have different tendencies and different people have different requirements. Like a restaurant. There are restaurants that serve Chinese food. There are restaurants that serve Indian food. Restaurants that serve Italian food. Restaurants that serve American cuisine. Why? Why not only have one menu in every restaurant? No, people like variety. People want different things. And to cater to their needs, different things exist. In Bhagavad Gita, please listen carefully. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Ye yathamam prapadyante tam sathaiva bhajamyam. As you approach me, I reciprocate with you, with you accordingly. So if someone wants the ascending process, for them, it is there. Okay, then do like this. Ultimately, you will come to me only. Someone wants karma kand. Okay, then you, you are a workaholic, karma kand. Go, become a karma kandi. Work, work, work. Oh, you are a devotee, humble. You want to surrender. You want to simply serve without expecting anything in return. Anya bhilash is shunya. Okay, then you have uttama bhakti also. So there is something for everyone based on our proclivity, our inclinations and our desires. Somebody wants this, so Krishna reciprocates. Okay, have it. Because Krishna is a desire tree. Nigama kalpa taror galitam falam. This nigama, all the Vedic literature is kalpa taro. It's a desire tree. You go to the desire tree and say, I want pure bhakti. You'll get this book. Chaitanya Bhagavad. You'll get Chaitanya Charitam. You'll get Bhagavad Gita. You'll get Ramayana. You'll get Srimad Bhagavatam. You say, I want to understand Dharma Shastra. You'll get Mahabharat. You'll learn everything you need to know about Dharma. Nari, dharma, purush, dharma, desh, dharma, jati, dharma, kul, dharma. Everything you'll understand. Bhishma Dev has said four volumes. But if you want uh, to meditate, you know, then you will get nice instructions of Upanishad. Who meditated on that? He 
who has eyes everywhere but doesn't see no eyes he has ears everywhere but you, he has no ears he eats but doesn't have a mouth because doesn't have a mouth like us doesn't have ears like us ear drums that become deaf in old age and you have to scream krishna doesn't have ears like that so all these cryptic instructions are given given in the scriptures also for those who are cryptic for example there is one verse um <clears throat> prabhate dyutta prasangena madhyamne stri prasangatah ratrau cha chaura prasangena kalau gachati dhimatam kalau gachati dhimatam how does a intelligent person spend his or her time so now this is the instruction what is the instruction now process this prabhate dyutta prasangena in the morning associate with gamblers in the morning associate with gamblers revati mata ji are listening these are the instructions morning you go and associate with gamblers yes prabhu ji madhyamne stri prasangata in the afternoon you should associate with ladies now i don't see any men with their videos on so i cannot pick on anybody but imagine a man is told in the afternoon you should associate with women and at night what about at night ratrau cha chaura prasangena at night you associate with thieves and robbers <laughs> those who plunder the wealth of others kalau gachati dhimatam dhimatam those who are very intelligent dhi means buddhi very intelligent this is how they spend their time morning associate with gamblers afternoon go and associate with women and at night you associate with thieves are but mahaprabhu said asat sangat tyage vaishnava achar <laughs> sangat ago satovritti what what happened to all those instruction to give a bad association now this is for the very intelligent people kalau gachati dhimatam those who have lot of intelligence this verse is for them because they will scratch their brains what what does it mean well the meaning is this that in the morning you associate with gamblers means in the morning you read bhagavad gita where the war happened as a result of the gambling game yudhishthir maharaj and duryodhan you hear about the the gamblers so you read bhagavad gita in the morning so before you go out to work you purify your intelligence with bhagavad gita it will tell you how to deal with this world afternoon you come home for lunch now in the olden times people would not Uh, call doordash when it was lunch time they would go home and the whole family would sit together and they would eat even now if you go like i am in my hometown akola even now here in the afternoon the shops close everybody goes home for lunch break 2 3 hours they take a nap and then they come and open the shop again <laughs> even the coaching classes and everything they shut down in the afternoon lunch time we went to the bank even the bank shuts now be lunch break eh? everybody is on lunch break hmm? so anyway people would go home they would work in the farm and the afternoon they would come home they would all sit together and eat so what should we do in the afternoon associate with the women means what in the afternoon you read ramayan because it's all about women mantra kai kai sita shurpana kha you know all this everything happens because of the ladies in ramayan so you read ramayan in the afternoon why because ramayan teaches us how to have family relationships because ram shri ram is maryada purushottam how to behave with parents how to behave with one's wife how to deal with one's siblings brothers and sisters how to deal with children everything ramayan teaches us through different relationships so afternoon when you come home you read ramayan so that you have good family interactions you have good interactions with your friends and relatives okay then again i go i work morning i read bhagavad gita afternoon i read uh, ramayan what about at night oh madhure na samarpane you should end with something very sweet end with the desert so end your day with chaur prasangena you read about the thief and who is the thief the butter thief <laughs> the sari thief <laughs> gopangana nam cha dukula chauram navanita choram the stealer of butter 
and stealer of the Shri Radhikaya, Ridayasya Chauram, the stealer of the heart of Shri Radha. You read about Radha and Krishna in the night because the night is compared to death. At the time of death, we have to withdraw our senses from everything and just focus on Krishna and Radharani. Focus on Vrindavan. And every night when we sleep, therefore we should not take the phone in our hand. At night, the phone is forbidden. Phone should be far away. And we should not have screen time at the time of bed, going to bed. But we should chant or we should hear some Krishna Katha or some sweet Kirtan. Think about Radha and Krishna. Think about Vrindavan. Think about Hare Krishna Mahamantra and go to sleep. So at night, we should read the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam is what this verse is telling us. Read about Krishna who is a thief. So morning read Bhagavad Gita to prepare your consciousness for the rest of the day. Afternoon when you interact with family members, read Ramayana. So you'll understand how to deal, what is Maryada, what are the uh, ways of etiquette. And at night, you read the ultimate scripture, the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, especially the Vrindavan pastimes. So these cryptic instructions are given to appeal to the intel. Now see, everybody is paying attention, excited. If somebody is just told very dryly, morning read Bhagavad Gita, afternoon read Ramayan, at night you can read Vrindavan pastimes of Krishna. So it will, uh, we are yawning. Or somebody tell like this, morning associate with gamblers. What? Wait, what did you say? Did I hear it right? Afternoon meet girls, associate with girls. And at night with thieves. Wait a minute. What is this? Let me process this. Let me analyze this. The intelligent people get excited. So Vedas deal with different types of people. Those who are intelligent, they have this cryptic Upanishads. Very difficult to understand. So like that. So here, that is the reason why in the Vedas, different, different subjects are described and not just pure devotion. That is like, because people want it like that. Actually, there is no possibility of the Lord becoming angry with the Vedas for they are engaged in his service. The Vedas are engaged in the service of Krishna. The Vedas are devotees of Krishna. Please raise your hand and give me proof of this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. What are the different types of gopis? Yes, Bhagavati Vasudha Mataji. They became, yes, Prabhuji, they became gopis, uh, one of the relative gopis, like... Uh, yes, yeah, uh, Shrutacharya gopis. Yeah, Shrutacharya gopis. The, and there is a chapter in the 10th canto, the Vedas personified offer prayers to Krishna towards the end of 10th canto. So this proves that the Vedas are devotees of Krishna. They are engaged in his service. Therefore, Sri Gaura Varaha's anger is aimed at the inauspiciousness of persons who study the Vedas from the impersonal point of view. So, Mahaprabhu is not criticizing the Vedas. He is criticizing the people who are wanting such topics to be there in the Vedas. Not the Vedas. Vedas are not being criticized. Otherwise, it will be Nama Prad. Shruti Shastra Nindanam. This is a Nama. It is an offense against the holy name. To blaspheme the Vedic literatures or literatures in pursuance of the Vedic version. Mahaprabhu will never do that. Mahaprabhu is Prem Swaru. There is no question of Aparad. So the Vedas are not being criticized, but the tendency of people to study the Vedas in an impersonal point of view, like Prakashananda Saraswati did in Chaitanya Charitamrit, that tendency is criticized here. Text 36. Hastapada Mukha Mora Nahika Lochan. Yeah, let's mute everybody. I cannot. I'm not the co-host. Yeah, please. Hasta pada mukha mora nahi kalpan ei mata vede more kare vidaman. No problem. Hare Krishna. Next verse, verse 36. The Vedas mock me, Mahaprabhu is saying, the Vedas mock me by accusing me of having no hands, no legs, no mouth, and no eyes. Sorry, Prabhu, I will be muting everyone. Please forgive me. 
no problem adhi hare krishna so here mahaprabhu is saying please listen carefully now the vedas mock me by accusing me of having no hands no legs no mouth or no eyes the vedas make fun of me mahaprabhu is saying because there are some sections where it is said that krishna does not have hands the lord supreme lord does not have eyes he does not have a mouth he is just a brahma jyoti power at least it is interpreted like that but actually the meaning is he does not have material eyes like us he does not have material mouth like us that need to be brushed and flossed and mouth washed mahaprabhu tadati surabhi radha kundam eva shrayam ne even the bathing water of shrimati radharani is ati surabha it's too much fragrant so this is radha and krishna so anyway the vedas are misunderstood as saying that the lord has no form in shridham navadweep iskon has a jagannath temple anybody knows what are those deities called raise your hand राजापुर जगन्नाथ दे आर वेरी मैजिकल डिटीज ऑफ जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा सो देर इज देड पुजारी ऑफ दैट टेम्पल हिज नेम इज हिज ग्रेस अमल भक्त प्रभु Mal Bhakta Prabhu, very very advanced, very great Vaishnav, and day and night he is absorbed in service to Lord Jagannath. He has tremendous faith in the holy name. I cannot reveal how much Nam Bhajan, how much how many rounds he chants every day. It will not be proper etiquette. But he is a very very advanced Vaishnav, very renounced. He has complete faith in the holy abode of Jagannath Puri. and he has a lot of love for lord jagannath so one day a true story i am telling you one day a devotee went to him and was talking to him and he gave some tulsi manjaris so shripad amal bhakta prabhu said i will offer them at the lotus feet of lord jagannath so this devotee said but jagannath has no feet oh shripad amal bhakta prabhu got so upset he said what Jagannath has no feet. You are telling me Jagannath has no feet. Every day I worship his feet. Every day I have darshan of his feet. How can you say like this? You have feet, and Jagannath cannot have feet. So you have something that God doesn't have. <laughs> so he chastised. He said, "No, Jagannath has feet, but you need the eyes of love to see them." Preman jana churi to bhakti vilo chale na. संत सदैव हृदय विलोकयंतीहिष्णुना कीर्तने सदा हरि This verse is there. Everybody has heard this verse. Yes. So Shri Lagaur Goen Maharaj asked this question. So in this verse, Trinada Pi Suni Chena will come first, and then Kirtan Ye Sada Hari, or we have to do Kirtan Ye Sada Hari, and then we will become Trinada Pi Suni Chena. <laughs> Understood? The devotee asked that according to this verse, I want to understand: Is it that first I have to become humble like a blade of grass? then i will be able to chant the name constantly or is it that first i have to chant the name constantly and as a result of that i will become humble and tolerant you want to hear shila gaurav maharaj's reply what a fool baba what a fool <laughs> he told the devotee what a dull head you have got dull head <laughs> practice baba practice first you practice then ask question he said shila gaur goin maharaj said how can you become trinada pi suni chena taror api sahishnuna and a manina mana dena without chanting so how is it possible cheto darpana marjanam shri krishna sankirtanam the heart becomes cleansed by chanting 
and you are asking will i become humble humble first and then chant no you first chant practice chanting practice humility it will come first you have to chant it all begins with shravanam kirtanam chanting then the good qualities will manifest so like that <clears throat> the impersonalists are unable to understand the eternal form of the supreme lord and they accuse the lord on the basis of the vedas as having material hands material legs material mouth etc thus they consider that the supreme has neither form nor past times but if one accepts vidvad rudhi the conventional meaning of words according to enlightened persons for understanding the meaning of a word then it is clearly understood that the supreme lord possesses not mundane hands but spiritual hands spiritual legs spiritual mouth spiritual eyes rather than material hands material legs material mouth and material eyes that is the meaning this is confirmed in the vedas shvetashvatara upanishad 3.19 as follows apani pado javano grahita pashyat achakshushu sa shrunot a karana so see the contradictions although the supreme lord has no hands and legs a pani and a pado pani means hands pado means feet he doesn't have hands he doesn't have feet but still he accepts all sacrificial offerings he has no hands and legs but you offer him and he will take javano grahita he accepts okay what is the other contradiction although he has no eyes he sees he is a chakshuru he has no eyes a chakshuru but pashya he still sees even though he has no eyes and although he has no ears he is a karana he has no ears sa shrunot but still he hears every prayer every prayer that we offer we may not even utter the prayer we may offer the prayer in the heart but krishna will accept like in chaitanya charitamrit it is mentioned that when shivananda sen was very very funny and sweet past time shivananda sen used to organize the whole party from navadweep to come to jagannath puri dham more than 200 300 devotees every year he would pay the expenses for their lodging their food their toll that they had to pay when they passed through different small small kingdoms everything shivananda sen would do he would plan the whole yatra single handedly he would do it now at a one particular toll booth they were caught and delayed and the toll person the toll collector he delayed shivananda sen and the devotee as a result had to stay under different trees and wait for shivananda sen to pay the toll get clearance and then come and then arrange their lunch because it was lunch time and everybody patiently waited except nityananda prabhu Nityanandu was where is the Shivananda? Where is Shiva? Where is Shiva? Call him. I am hungry. I am so hungry. I might die. Nityanandu was saying in his adhut mood, I might die. He does seventy-two hours kirtan non-stop with no food and water. Nothing happens, and now he is saying he just had breakfast. He is saying if I don't get lunch, I will die. Where is Shiva? Call him. He gets angry, and Shivananda says he uh, pays the toll, settles everything, and then comes running to the devotees to arrange for their lunch. He knows it's late. and all the devotees say nita is calling you nitananda prabhu is calling you oh gosai is calling me shivananda sen becomes very happy starts running towards nitananda prabhu who is standing under a tree and he is seeing the beautiful form of nitananda prabhu that same form that shri krishna das kaviraj goswami had darshan in his dream that form of nitananda prabhu standing in his beautiful blue dhoti his beautiful tall form his very very fair complexion and effulgent like a spring cloud nityananda prabhu he has got lotus eyes he has got pinkish lips so beautiful he is standing with multiple garlands of flowers and shivananda sen looks at the lotus feet of nityananda they are so soft and pinkish and decorated with all auspicious signs and shivananda sen is saying oh i wish i could hold the lotus feet of nityananda prabhu to my heart i wish nitananda prabhu places his feet on my heart in his mind as he is approaching nitai shivananda sen is saying like this and nitananda prabhu is antaryami he is in everyone's heart ishwara sarvabhuta naam ridesh arjuna tishtati he is hearing every prayer that we offer even in the heart what we offer he he hears it so nitananda prabhu hears this prayer 
and he says, oh, there are 300 devotees watching. If I give my lotus feet, place my lotus feet on the heart of Shivananda Sen, everybody will think, oh, even we want, even we want, even we want. So then we will be here only, whole day. So Nityananda says, okay, let me fulfill his desire. At the same time, nobody should become envious of Shivananda Sen. Shivananda Sen, Sen comes, Nitai says, where is the prasad? Oh, Nitai, I will arrange, I will arrange. He kicks Nityananda, he, kicks Shivananda Sen on the chest. Fulfilling the inner desire, which nobody knew. At the same time, performing this pastime of punishment. That, why are you late? Come on, give it. Like that. So the point is that Krishna even hears the prayers that we do not verbalize. Just in the heart, if we think, Oh, I wish I could make a beautiful garland for Radha Madan Mohan and offer them. Bas, Krishna accepted it. Just because we thought about it. Krishna is so kind. Although Supreme Lord has no hands and legs, he nonetheless accepts all the sacrificial offerings. Although he has no eyes, he sees everything. And although he has no ears, he hears everything. In order to exhibit compassion on those who cannot understand the actual purpose of the Vedas and who are bewildered as a result, Kama Esta Esta Rita Dnyana Prapadyan Tenna Devata, Shri Gaurahari did not respect such persons' understanding of the Vedas. The Karmakandi understanding, the Mayavadi understanding, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not appreciate. So he is um, denouncing that mentality of fruitive action or the mentality of Mayavad, impersonalism, where we do not respect the personal form of Krishna. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not criticizing the Vedas. He is criticizing the tendency of people who want to misinterpret the Vedas. And that verse from Shwetar Upanishad was explained. The correct understanding and the incorrect understanding. So with this, I will stop here. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad Ki Jai. Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol. So we'll leave some time for question answers. So if there are any question answers, you can please raise your hand. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Very, very beautiful class. And you make us understand what we should do by you told about the morning thing. Morning you go to gamblers like that. So we should always read in the morning Bhagavad Gita and in uh, afternoon we should uh, sit down with our uh, family members and read Ramayana or discuss something about any character of Ramayana. So uh, our kids also can learn everything and they know a little bit about that too. And at night, our Krishna's pastime, Radha Krishna's pastime and everything we have to talk and then do Kirtan and then we can sleep because we don't know what will happen in our sleep, right? So it's very, very nice, Prabhuji, you explain everything. And you also explain about Jaitanya Mahaprabhu. He does not criticize the Vedas, whatever they are, Karma Kandi people they are doing. But they uh, just from Mahaprabhu, Lord Mahaprabhu is criticized about whatever material people, they always want something from that. And they do that. Uh, if I do this, I will, uh, you give me this, like that business. So this is not good. So uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu criticize that materialist people or atheist people. So it's very, very nice to understand all the things. Prabhuji, really, really, your class is so inspiration and all the time giving so many lessons and everything. So it's very, very nice, Prabhuji. And if you have time, Prabhuji, can I tell the devotees who have a question? Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Okay. Hare Krishna. Okay, dear devotees, if you have any question or realization, you can go ahead, please. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Uh, I have a question about uh, Murari Gupta. Uh, he, he, uh, my Lord uh, Hanuman, he was a Brahmachari. And uh, as per what I read in Ramayana, that he is... Uh, uh, he he uh, he has been given a bened benediction that he is not going to die. So how Murari Gupta can be an incarnation of uh, Lord Hanuman? It seems like you know two different moods. No no no. This is very beautiful. It's the same mood. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he comes. He is a supreme lord, and because his sarva avatara sara shiromani. All these incarnations are within Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Ram is within Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Narasimha Devi is within Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, in our verse that we discussed, morning reading Bhagavad Gita, 
we can remember Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructing Rup Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Ramananda Rai, uh, instructing Raghunath Das Goswami, instructing Sarovam Bhattacharya. Because these are also same instructions. We can read Raya Ramananda Samvad, like Bhagavad Gita, because Raya Ramananda is Arjun and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Afternoon, Ramayan, we can just read Chaitanya Charitabhad and Chaitanya Bhagavat for Murari Gupt. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became Ram. As Gaura Ram, he embraced those eight trees through which he had shot arrows and sent those trees back to Godhead. He appeared to that South Indian Brahman who was a Ram Bhakta, who was refusing to eat because Sita Devi had been touched by Ravan. And from Kurma Puran, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu produced evidence that Ravan never touched Sita. What to speak of touch Sita, he did not even see the real Sita ever. He gave Praman. So that is Mahaprabhu in the form of Ram. And the Brahman says that you are Sakshat, Ra Sakshat Ram Chandra in Chaitanya Charita. We mentioned. So in this way, to meditate on Ram, Maryada Purushottam Ram, we can meditate on our Prem Purushottam Gaurahari. And at night time, just like Sri Krishna stole, we can also think of Mahaprabhu as Nimai doing his naughty antics in Navadvip including stealing, including jumping in front of young girls who are doing uh, Durga Puja, that marry me, will you marry me? And then stealing their offerings meant for Lord Shiva and eating them. And uh, entering into Ganga and spitting Ganga water on <laughs> different devotees and saying that I am the master of Ganga. So we can meditate on all these naughty pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu day and night. So to answer your question, Devya Mataji, that there is no difference. Murari Gupta is Hanuman and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Ram. Hanumanji is Naishtit Brahmachari because he is Jitendriya. But when Krishna says that I want you to appear as a Grahastha, Gauranga Mahaprabhu says you become a Grahastha, then Hanumanji is teaching us that one should not be attached to these external things. Samsiddhir Haritoshanam, not Samsiddhir Brahmacharyam. We don't please Krishna by doing brahmacharya or tapasya or sacrifice or dan charity. We please Krishna by doing what Krishna wants. We please Krishna by offering our love to Krishna. Bhaktya tushyati kevalam. Nacha gunai. Bhakti priya madhava. Krishna is not pleased by qualities. Krishna is pleased by our devotion and love. That's what he wants. And if Krishna expresses a desire that in this incarnation, Murari, in this incarnation, Hanuman, I would really like you to be a grihastha. Have a wife, have children, be a physician, have a job, and teach the world Grihastha Ashram. Then Hanumanji becomes Murari Gupta householder. And even today, the descendants of Murari Gupta are there in Navadvip. The house of Murari Gupta is still there. And his family lineage, his blood lineage is still there living in that house. Great devotees. So if Krishna wants, whatever Krishna wants, Nachao, Nachao Prabhu, Nachao Samate. Can there be a bigger Naishtik Brahmachari, bigger Bala Brahmachari than Sripad Narad Muni? And look at Narad Muni. He has children and wife. Malini Devi. And he's a Grihastha. He has been cursed never to stay in one place for more than a Muhurta. More than 42, 48 minutes. And he has Srivas Angan where eternally the pastimes of Gauranga Mahaprabhu are going on. His Nirte Leela. His Nam Sankirtan all night. What happened to the curse? So this is the greatness of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That the devotees, they do whatever Mahaprabhu wants. And no curse, nothing operates in Gaur Leela. It's not effective in Gaur Leela. So there is nothing bewildering about Hanumanji being a Grihastha. Grihe taako, vane taako, sada hari bole taako. These are external things. Remember in Jaiva what did we study? Grihastha, Brahmacharya, Vanapra, Sanyas. These are ashrams. They come under Varana Ashram, Varana Ashram system. And what is Bhakti? It is Paramartha. It is beyond Varana Ashram. Bhakti is a different realm. So Hanumanji, Murari Gupta are operating on the platform of devotion. How can we judge them by superimposing Varnashram, which is lower than the Prem Mark? So this distinction we have to understand. And as far as death is concerned, this is not death. Murari Gupta didn't die. This is, uh, he reasons here who says that Vaishnavas die when they are still living in sound. They are still living through his literature. Chaitanya Charit Mahakavya. So many things. 
and as far as leaving the body is concerned that is just a leela krishna also left his body that arjun cremated is there in mahabharat this is leela it's not real krishna doesn't have a material body so murari group doesn't have a material body that died no he is a eternal associate came in a spiritual body in gaur leela and when mahaprabhu wanted he went back to the spiritual world like all the other associates so there is nothing wrong in this do you still find anything uh, confusing mata ji difference mood divya mata ji ah no baba ji that uh, yeah i uh, i understand now yeah the siddhanta is whatever krishna wants krishna wants me to be a grahastha i'll be grahastha krishna wants me to be sanyasi i'll be sanyasi whatever krishna wants that is the siddhanta that is what murari gupta is teaching us don't be attached but, to external but who is original lord hanuman or murari gupta let me ask you a question divya mata ji who is original krishna or chaitanya mahaprabhu hari krishna hari krishna 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 <laughs> both are original both are, yeah both are original they created time <laughs> they are the creators of time so we cannot say who came first all right they are both original eternally that is the meaning of that verse radha krishna pranaya vikriti ladini shakti rasmad ekat manav abhibhuy pura deha bhedam gatau to chaitanya karm prakat maduna tad dvayam chaikyam aptam radha bhav dhidu sulitam nami krishna swarupam so radha is krishna pranaya vikritir aladini shakti rasma and they are ek ekat manav api bhui pura they are radha krishna are one ekat manav they are one api bhui pura since time they are always eternally one means mahaprabhu is one if you say radha krishna are actually one not two that means we are saying in other words mahaprabhu is one Mah- mahaprabhu is eternal mahaprabhu is original and then deha bhedam gatau to and that one personality has appears as two as radha and krishna <clears throat> they have bhedam they have bhedam the body has one body has divided into two radha and krishna right side krishna left side radha they have bhedam gatau tau acha so they are two radha and krishna are two oh no no wait 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 but chaitanya akham prakatam adhuna abhi prakat hua hai adhuna means now chaitanya akham is called chaitanya prakatam adhuna tad dvayam cha ekya maptam that two have again become one This is so bewildering. Radha bhav dhu suvilitam naomi krishna swarupam. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has the mood of Radharani, the complexion of Radharani and his krishna swarup. His krishna. Radha bhav, Radha dhuti suvilitam naomi krishna swarupam. So Mahaprabhu is original. But if Mahaprabhu is original and he is Radha and Krishna combined, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna nahi anya. Okay, then he is Radha and Krishna. So that means Radha and Krishna came first. <laughs> but Radha Krishna, Pranay Vikriti, Ladhini Shakti Rasmat, Ekat Manav. But Radha and Krishna are one. That is Shaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> so it is bewildering. It is bewildering because both are original. Simultaneously, both eternally. Jaiva Dharma explains this. Jaiva Dharma specifically to a chapter deals with Gaur Tattva and Krishna Tattva and explains how both Tattvas are eternal. Simultaneously, there is navadvip dham nitya navadvip and there is nitya golok dham and simultaneously both forms eternally exist so gaurang mahaprabhu is original and krishna and radharani are also original similarly hanuman ji is original and murari gupta is also original and this is simultaneously both are original equally original theek hai divya mata ji yes sir hari hari krishna Okay. So Janeshwar Gaurang Prabhu, and then we'll take Darshini Mata because Darshini Mata will have uh, reflections and question also. So we'll take yeah. Janeshwar Gaurang. Hare Krishna Prabhu ji, please Hare. accept my obeisances. Thank you for this wonderful class, uh, Prabhu. Uh, you, you know we we know that in Gora Lila, Gora Nam, there is no aparad. You know uh, mm-hmm. when you take Gora Nam, Gor Nita, there is no aparad. But when you chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, offenses are considered. So if somebody chants just Nita Gorang all day long. as opposed to a ma mantra then it, <laughs> would that be okay or not it's not okay oh. why because then this becomes ascending process now you are speculating that all there is no oh. aparad so let me chant gauranita 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 this is mental speculation no? this is we are ascending i am oh i figured it out let's chant gauranam no aparad <laughs> prabhu did not think of that 
Saraswati Thakur could not think of that. Gaur Krishna oh, Dawaji Maharaj could not think, but I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is ascending process. Okay. And it's always wrong. Okay. It's always, always wrong. Why? Because Srila Prabhupada explains this. This question that you asked, I know you are a very wonderful devotee, but this question was asked to Srila Prabhupada. It's there in Prabhupada memories. Okay. A devotee asked Prabhupada that Prabhupada, uh, no offenses in Gauranam, but 10 offenses in Krishna Nam. Why should we chant Hare Krishna Mahamadra? There are 10 offenses. Let me just chant Gaura, 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 Gaura. But Mahaprabhu also sometimes gets angry. Chota Haridas, Kala Krishna Das. You know, Prabhupada, let me just chant your name. I know you are very merciful. I'll just say Prabhupada, 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 Prabhupada. <laughs> If I do that, Prabhupada, will I get Krishna? Prabhupada asked this question. You want to hear what is the reply? Yes, 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 Prabhupada. <laughs> <laughs> Arivol. Arivol. Srila Prabhupada said, love means to obey. Yes. Chanting Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, Gaur Nithai, is ultimate. It can award all perfection. What you said is correct. It will award all perfection. There is no offense. We can chant Gauranam, Nitainam, and we can get to Golok Vrindavan. We can get to Nitya Navadvip. There is no doubt about it. Because Krishna Prem Pradayate. He is giving Krishna Prem. And if you have Krishna Prem, you go to Krishna. Hmm. But we don't do that. Because Prabhupada said, love means obedience. By chanting Gauranam, we can get Krishna, no doubt. But we will not only chant Gauranam. Why? Jare de Kotare Koho Krishna Upade Amara Agyay Guru Hayataradesh. Mahaprabhu has said, Bolo Krishna, Bhajo Krishna, Koro Krishna Shiksha. Mahaprabhu has said that chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Nam, Hare Nam. He didn't say Gauranam, Gauranam, Gauranam ever given. Mahaprabhu right. repeated Chaitanya Charitamri Chaitanya says, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevala. <laughs> Mahaprabhu says, If you love me, chant Krishna Nam. So, because Mahaprabhu, because Nityananda Prabhu has told us, chant Hare Krishna Mahantra, that's what we will chant. Oh. That is the only explanation. Hmm? Love means we do what the object of our love wants us to do. And Gauranga Mahaprabhu wants us to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. In Chaitanya Bhagavad, it will come. Twice Mahaprabhu has mentioned the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and told everyone to chant this. Shola Nam Bhakti Saksha. This Nam. Mahaprabhu. Yes. Mahaprabhu says. So therefore, we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Why? In obedience to Mahaprabhu. But there are offenses. And then we have to grow up and avoid the offenses. That is sadhana. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Not that because there is no offense, I will... I say, घर में गाड़ी चलाने में कोई ऑफेंस नहीं है कोई ट्रैफिक रूल्स नहीं मैं मेरे ड्राइववे में कैसे भी चलाऊंगा बट दैट डजंट मीन वी ओनली ड्राइव इन द ड्राइववे बेटर वी ट्रैफिक रूल्स एंड वी स्टार्ट वी लर्न हाउ टू ड्राइव ऑन द रोड सो वी शुड चैंट हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र एंड अवॉइड द ऑफेंसेस दैट विल प्लीज महाप्रभु दैट विल प्लीज महाप्रभु अपराध शून्य हैले लह कृष्ण नाम Krishna Mata, Krishna Pita, Krishna Dhana Prana Diya Godrume Nityananda Mahaja. Nityananda has told us this. Aparada Shudna Hill, Loho Krishna Nam. Give up Aparad and chant Krishna. Krishna Mata, Krishna Pita, Krishna Dhana Prana. Nadia Godrume Bole Nityananda Ram. Nityananda Ram is telling us this. So, therefore, because Gaur Nidai want us to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra for their pleasure, we will chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Will Gaur Nidai be happy if we chant Gaur Nidai, Gaur Nidai? They don't yes. want to hear their name. They yes. want to hear oh, Radha and Krishna. So, Hare Krishna. Is that okay? Thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Please, Hare just have your blessings upon me. Prabhu, just I can chant nicely. Thank you so much. You are much more advanced than me. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Darshini Mataji. You have how many reflections and how many questions? Darshan is not giving darshan only today. Prabhuji, I'm there in another device uh, with okay. Gaudnitai Bhagavan. Yeah. Okay, Hare Krishna. Yeah, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, then with pronouns. Prabhuji, I have uh, two questions is, and I think. Your internet is very weak, Mataji. Uh, You're br okay. breaking up and slowing down. Um, can come in better range. That's good. 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इस माता जी तैर ना हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 वर्षनी माता जी आई थिंक शी इज अनएबल टू अनम्यूट मी बी मत प्रभु जी आई गिव हर चांस टू अनम्यूट ओके ओके वंस दर्शनी माता जी प्लीज गो हेड माता जी प्रभु जी एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ नाउ बेटर माता जी हरे कृष्ण ओके हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धनवत प्रणाम शैशला प्रभात प्रभु जी हैव टू क्वेश्चंस एंड आई थिंक आई विल काउंट इट एज टू रिफ्लेक्शंस ओके Prabhu ji, my first question is a follow-up of the pre- previous question itself about uh, chanting Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Mahaprabhu's name. Like, even though we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, like, uh, is it okay to think about Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Ram Prabhu? Like, you know, Hari as, you know, Gauranga Mahaprabhu as Gaur Hari and Ram as Nityananda Ram or Hare Krishna as uh, Ga- uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Gadadhar Pandit. Like, is it try to think like that? to uh, please i mean to ask mahaprabhu to engage us in his service yes shripad ayanda prabhu would do like that shripad ayanda prabhu would do like that so that is a very beautiful bhav i personally chant with the bhav that shila prabhu pad gave that hare is radhe krishna is krishna and ram is raman so hare krishna hare ram means radhe krishna radha raman and this is the interpretation given by shila raghunath das goswami shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur and all of them are there these explanations of the hare krishna mahamantra are there you can just look, look on kk songs and also gopal guru goswami even jiva goswami they have all interpreted the mahamantra as radha and krishna yugal mantra hare is radhe and krishna ram are names of krishna so there are many interpretations shila prabhupad writes in one purport that ram can also mean balram ram can also mean dasharathi ram ram can also mean parashuram <laughs> all are possible nam nam akari bahuda ani jasa ho sakte there are so many names and so many interpretations uh, but yes in bhagavatam parashuram is called ram balram is called ram and krishna is also called ram there are many verses where krishna is addressed as ram also Bilo Mangal Thakur in Krishna Karnamrit does that. He calls Krishna as Ram. Because Ram is a name in Chaitanya Charitamrit also. Krishna is called as Ram. One who um, is the giver of spiritual bliss. That is the meaning of Ram and it's the name of Krishna. So you can chant in that mood also. I personally prefer to chant in the mood given by Srila Jeeva Goswami, Srila Chakravarti Pad, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Srila Prabhupada. But this mood also is very sweet. Thinking of Gaur Nithai. I personally like to think of Gaur Nithai when I chant Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. And Hare Krishna Mahamantra I like to think of Radha and Krishna because that is what will please Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu hears like that. So Radharani will like to hear the Krishna Naam and the Ram Naam. And uh, Krishna will like to hear Radha Naam, Hare. So that is the mood that I chant in. But this mood is also very good. There are different acharyas, different moods. And we respect all of them. So yes, that is good. And Shabbat Ayanda Prabhu endorses that mood. What is the second question, Mataji? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama. Prabhuji, the second question is, uh, since you were mentioning about, uh, uh, you know, the form of Krishna, like sometimes when someone elder is asking us regarding this, like if they are not devotees, but we are, we somehow try and convince them by giving some uh, uh, evidences from Srila Prabhupada's books, but beyond a certain limit, we are not able to uh, communicate it properly because of the age gap and also what kind of books or, you know, what kind of things we can recommend them to do if they are still open to learning. It's not by reading books that one can get Shraddha. In Jaiva Dharma, we have seen that. One cannot get Shraddha, Tatviki Shraddha by reading books. And to preach to such people also is a Namaprad. Ashraddha Dhane Vimukhe. These are Ashraddha Dhana people and they are Vimukh. They are Bhagavad Vimukh. So these people have to be somehow engaged in some Nitya Sukrati. If they can be given some Prasad. Prabhupada said just give them Mahaprasad. If they can be given Prasad, or somehow 
through entertainment, if they are made to hear some Hari Nam, you can say that, oh my God, have you heard of this American man? He created 500 unique melodies of singing Hare Krishna Mahamantra. His name is Shripad Hainder Prabhu. You want to hear? And let them hear some Shuddha Nam. <laughs> but like Hainder would say, double negatives. You ain't chanting no Shuddha Nam. You ain't giving no Bhakti Shakti. <laughs> He's a New Yorker. <laughs> He's a Prajbasi. The only Prajbasi New Yorker. Hmm? Sure, Hainder would say, you can, you can take a New Yorker out of New York. You cannot take New York out of a New Yorker. So staying in Vrindavan, you're talking double negatives. <laughs> you, and, you and giving no bhakti shakti. So like that. So let them hear Ayanda Prabhu's Kirtan. Very powerful. When I heard, many times I hear Kirtan and then when the Kirtan stops, it goes away. But when, when one hears Ayanda Prabhu's Kirtan, even when you stop and you get on with your work, that Kirtan keeps ringing in your mind. I have personally experienced this. Keeps ringing in your mind. Doesn't leave you. Very powerful. Shri Padayanda Prabhu's Kirtans. Let them hear. They will get Adhyatmik Sukrati. Let them come for fun in Jagannath Rathyatra. Something like that. Somehow, uh, let them get some Nitya Sukrati. Then when they get little Nitya Sukrati, then they will develop faith in Sadhu Sangha. Because reading Prabhupada's books is Sadhu Sangha. You are associating with Prabhupada, but they have no faith. They will simply find faults and criticize the book. If such faithless people you give. Mm-hmm. I know one such person Pakka Smartha Brahman considers himself Lord Brahma. I am Brahman, this Brahma, so pure family, very pure. And he was finding faults with Srila Prabhupada because of Srila Prabhupada's language. He said, How can a sadhu use words like rascal? He was telling me. How can? How can you have some Westerner sing Govinda Madhi Purusham prayers? This is a Vasanta Tilak meter, Sanskrit. This is Brahma Samhita. It has to be pronounced properly, chanted in the proper meter. <laughs> you know, you don't have any faith. Mahaprasade Govinde Nama Brahmani Vaishnave Swalpa Punne Vartam Rajan Vishwasona Eva Jayate. You will never have Vishwas, never have Shraddha because you don't have Nitya Sukrati. Even today he is like that only. And believe me, this so-called Brahman eats meat and smokes cigarettes now. So much for committing Vaishnava Prat. He is very proud of his Brahminical birth and Brahminical family, but smoking cigarettes now and eating meat. And says, Prabhupada is using rascal word. He is for you only. Prabhupada is using words like rascal to wake you up. Hmm? And Jamuna Mataji is such a pure devotee of Krishna, left everything, living in the 100 degree sweltering heat of Vrindavan, giving up all the luxuries. Have you, have you done that? And he himself is working hard for Green Card. <laughs> she left citizenship and came to India to serve in Vrindavan, where there was no, no facilities. But they find faults with Jamuna Mataji, with Prabhupada. So these fault finders, if you give them books, Darshini Mataji, they will commit more aprat. And it will be the cause of their further downfall. Therefore, it is a nama prad to preach to the faithless. You should not preach to them. Such people, let them somehow get them to do some nitya sukrati unknowingly. Agyat sukrati. When they have some sukrati bal, then they will get shraddha and then they will read books. Okay, I will. Is that okay, Mataji? You can share your reflections now. Yes, yes, Prabhuji. I was also remembering uh, Ladini, Ma- Ladini Mataji's example also. Ladini Shakti Mataji's example. She had literally left everything just to serve the lotus feet of uh, Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. So I was just remembering her example also. Yeah. Yeah, like when you were uh, telling that morning we should, uh, you know, uh, associate with people who are gambling or morning we should gamble. I was also Chanakya, thinking Chanakya that... Chanakya, Chanakya Pandit was saying like that. That is worse by Chanakya Pandit. I would say read Chaitanya Charitamrita in the morning, read Chaitanya Charitamrita in the afternoon, and read Chaitanya Charitamrita at night. <laughs> that is my opinion. <laughs> Please go ahead, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhupada. So I was thinking it can also mean like gambling means putting everything that you have into stake for getting higher returns, right? So we can put all the time we have in the morning into Krishna Bhakti for getting more returns of Prem. So I was thinking it in this way. Yeah. And uh, night, 
night when you were uh, telling that we should uh, uh, associate with uh, thieves. Yes. So it can also mean that, you know, we can associate with the Mahaprabhu because Krishna stole the complexion of Radharani and came as Mahaprabhu. So that stealing can also refer to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. So, and, you know, when you were mentioning that uh, Krishna accepts everything without hands, but still without hands and without mouth and all, but still he accepts everything. So I was remembering the Giriraj Kovardhan pastime where, you know, Krishna secretly accepted everything. So, and also like, you know, because you were mentioning about DT Darshan, I was mentioning, uh, I was uh, uh, remembering. Well, one, uh, one, one, one correction, Darshanadri, in Giriraj Dharan Leela, when Krishna accepted the offerings as Giriraj, he manifested a beautiful form of Giriraj, where he had hands, he had mouth, he had lotus eyes. And with his, by extending his hands, he accepted everything and ate everything. So it was not formless, but it was a, Krishna manifested a form of Giriraj. In Vrindavan, they call him Giriraj Baba. <laughs> they consider Giriraj their father. <laughs> Giriraj Baba. It was Krishna only, their son. Son became father. Giriraj Baba. But he manifested a beautiful form. Krishna manifested a form. Okay, continue. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. <clears throat> and I was remembering a small story that Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj was telling regarding Deity Darshan. That, uh, mm -hmm. you know, once there was a, a person who was, you know, farming, like he was a farmer. So he came and gave a dozen of bananas to the in the temple to offer it to Krishna. And the Pujari Gopal also Ju. offered it to Krishna. Gopal Ju. To offer to Gopal Ju. Uh, I'm not, no, no, I'm not sure. Like this was narrated by Gaur Govinda Maharaj as a story. So yeah, yeah. it sure. is about his, his own deity, Gopal Ju. Okay. So uh, but uh, yeah, the Pujari offered the bananas to the deity. And uh, after one week, the person came back, the, the person who offered those bananas came back and he saw that the deity had some mucus coming down. So after a lot of uh, thinking, he asked the Pujari, did you offer the bananas that I gave you? And the Pujari said, yes, I offered. He asked, how, uh, when did you offer and how many did you offer? He said, I offered all the 12 on the same day that you gave. And that person uh, scolded the Pujari telling, you know, how can you give uh, all the 12 bananas on the same day to Gopal? Like, you know, see, Gopal has eaten everything on the same day and Gopal has caught cold now. You should have given two to every day and you should have given with little honey. Now, because of you, Gopal has got caught cold now. So, we, so Maharaj was telling that until and unless we develop the vision to see the deity in this way, we are not having darshan of the deities properly. So, I was remembering this one past time. Yes, very beautiful past time. Ever since I heard this past time, there is a shortage of honey in our house. <laughs> because every banana gets <laughs> drenched with honey and gets offered. So... Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Darshan Mataji, your comments are always, reflections are very sweet and I look forward to them. Thank you for attentively no, hearing. Prabhuji, I look forward to your association always. Nothing, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Then with pronouns, okay, so Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Vinita Gandharika, Mataji, you have Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanavad Pranam, Aglori, Shishila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for such a beautiful class. I have one private question here in the chat. I think Mataji also raised her hand. She was only asking, Hare Krishna uh, Prabhuji, we are, when we are preaching, one who is in new devotee, he wants to chant in mind. Do not want to chant on the beads. How can I convince him? See, most important thing is, I have said this several times. I am saying it again. We should think about what is our dharma. We should not think about what is the dharma of others. If someone is a devotee and is wanting to do upamshu job or manasik job, that is between them and their shiksha guru or their diksha guru. It is between them and their superiors. We should not try to convince. And This is what happens where people, they try to preach when the preaching is not welcome. And they try to preach about details. Now, whether somebody is chanting Vachik or Upam shoots a detail, it's a personal preference. And when we try to preach in such situations, we turn devotees away. So many devotees have been turned away because they got a lecture about not eating chocolates. That's a small detail. So much can be said about that. It's such a small detail. We have to worry about more things, important things like waking up in the morning, chanting 16 rounds in Brahma Murta chanting Mangala Charan prayer, doing deity worship, that is more important than whether we are eating a little chocolate once in a while or not. 
But sometimes people, they latch on to these things and preach and then it just drives the devotees away. They feel that we are just a fanatic cult. Hare Krishna. So therefore we should not be like, we should be conservative with ourselves and liberal with others. Remember this mantra. Be conservative with yourself, liberal with others. Somebody standing the way they are chanting, let them chant. At least they are chanting. Their Shiksha Guru will tell them what is good for them. We should appreciate your chanting. Hari Bol. So proud of you. Please continue. That is better than going and saying, hmm, chanting, I cannot hear you loudly. Come on, loudly. No, not like that. Let them chant. Encourage them. Encourage devotees. Don't discourage them. When they ask for feedback, Prabhuji, I am chanting, par man nahi lag ra, concentration nahi lagta, mera quality achha nahi hai. One devotee reports the quality of Japa. That devotee writes out of 0 to 10, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, so if somebody says Ki quality is not good, please can you give some tips for increasing, in, improving the quality of Japa? Then give feedback. But somebody is chanting, let them chant Upamsu, let them chant Manasik, let, let them chant uh, Vachik. It doesn't matter. But when they are thirsty, when they are hungry, when they want to hear, then give feedback. Don't shove the philosophy down their throat. Chala ja. There are three types of Japa. Manasik Japa, only Gayatri. Hare Krishna Mantra, Vashik Upanju. Accept this. Do it now. Come on. No, that just drives devotees away. So we should not do that. We should focus on ourselves. My quality is very low. <laughs> Let me work on my own quality of Japa first. Like that. Thik hai? Hare Krishna. Last question. Thank Subhadra. you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much for a very beautiful answer. And I remember Guru Maharaj always encourages everyone to chant on uh, even counters if you are not able to chant on the beats uh, whatever is possible but chanting is very important as you say it's like he encourages even for one mantra he says like if 16 names oh you are taking this many times of uh, Krishna's names wow that's great he encourages very nicely thank you Prabhuji for that sweet answer that was the question from Subhadra Rani Mataji yeah Hare Krishna Hare Krishna yes Mataji Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Prabhuji thank you very much Prabhuji uh, actually, uh, he's a Hanuman devotee and he just started uh, chanting. Uh, so he was telling, I am okay with the chanting in mind. I will count the uh, uh, mantras also, but I am unable to, if I'm chanting on the beads, uh, then I am getting tension that I am unable to chant. So um, that is the thing. So. so. Hmm. In the beginning, just, start, uh, yeah. just encourage him the way he is, or the way he is chanting, and then slowly, slowly, automatically everything will happen. Now, let, just encourage him, appreciate him for his desire to chant, and just let him be for some time. Okay. Yeah. Darshini Mataji, you want to say something? Yes, Prabhuji, I just wanted to thank you very much. Like yesterday in the Bhagavad Gita class, you mentioned one instruction that. Uh, Every time we are on crossroads, we should always think if this will favor our Krishna consciousness or not. So it helped me a lot in taking a minor decision today. So thank you very much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thanks to Srila Prabhupada. Okay, so we'll stop here. Uh, Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Nitai Kaur Hari Bol. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Krishna one chakal patharo yes chitna pasadu deva chapati kana pavane bhi patharo vesta vero namo namo namanta kuti vaishnav dindu ki jai shila prabhu baad ki jai ke saadhi ka dadar prabhu ji ki jai prabhu ji thank you so much prabhu ji thank you so much